Hey, what's up, guys? This is David Labby with Big Man Fitness. This is day 18 of my ketogenic journey. Uh, wanted to update you guys on some of the things that are going on. I, I review about how uh, I feel physiologically, mentally, and emotionally while going through this uh, through this journey. Uh, weight loss can have a lot of effects on the body as well as our, our mental capacities and also our emotional states. Um, today, today was pretty good. Physiologically, I, I felt good. After my workout, I was really tired. Um, I ended up having to take another multivitamin and that definitely helped things out. I ate a little bit later on in the day. I didn't have my Bulletproof coffee this morning. Uh, that was my mistake. I definitely should have eaten something um, or taken, you know, taken my supplements. Uh, I took my multivitamins this morning and everything was fine, but having some sort of medium chain triglycerides like coconut oil and, or uh, your MCT oil in the morning really helps with stabilizing your energy throughout the day and helps you get through. I, I really had to push through my uh, my exercises a day and uh, I'm up to 27 reps for each exercise so today was definitely a good uh, a great routine uh, I definitely felt pretty good afterwards but it was my I, I like not even like 10 minutes later I was just exhausted <laughs> I, I was just exhausted and I knew it was because I didn't uh, I didn't have uh, a certain amount of calories throughout the day. Now, I usually try and stay with a fasted state. I usually wait until about tw uh, noon to start eating and having certain things because uh, I, uh, I do intermittent fasting along with my ketogenic journey. And normally that's absolutely fine as long as I'm having those things. Um, but it wasn't that bad. It wasn't like the normal when you're hungry and you you need to eat something quick so that way you have like fruit or something like that to, to bring up your um to bring up your your um your sugar levels to to get some you know quick fast acting sugar this is i'm in ketosis i can't have sugar i can't have high amounts of carbs uh everything that i have is is full of fiber uh i'm eating salads cucumbers avocados and fats so olive oil coconut oil, MCT oil, and uh, apple cider vinegar, uh, coffee as well, and also um, bone broth. But I switched to now where I'm only having bone broth three times in the week. I'm spacing it out because you, you, don't, need it as, uh, you don't need it as much, especially later on when you start eating more proteins. But uh, I'm also taking my protein supplement. It's a vegan, soy-free, gluten-free uh, protein powder. And uh, But the only problem that I have with it is, is that it does have, uh, what's it called? Xylitol? It's a sweetener. It's, a, it's another sweetener. Some people, you know, think that it's fine. Me personally, I don't want it right now, but I definitely do need at least a little bit of protein and I'm trying to stay as uh, as strict as I possibly can with my plan. So next week I start with my uh, with my vegetables, my cooked vegetables: broccoli, cauliflower, asparagus, uh, zucchini, summer squash, a few other things. Um, so uh, emotional wise, today has been fine. No major upheavals or anything like that. Uh, you go through some, you know, some quick spurts and you, you, you know, you still get them, but it, it, it's, it's mitigated. Uh, I think that my body's starting to become a little bit more acclimated to these things. Um, and for mental clarity, uh, ketosis definitely helps with your mental acuity. <laughs> it really keeps you sharp. And I know that when I start having protein, more protein, and that's definitely made a difference is having that protein powder, but, uh, that it will be a lot better for, uh, for me once I'm fully acclimated, um, and I'm fat adapted because I, I am in ketosis and my body is getting more, uh, more accustomed to it. 
It usually takes a, a few weeks for your body to become more accustomed to it, but I'm, I'm taking the fast track as, uh, to, to try and see if I can get my body at, fat adapted faster by, by doing my progressive diet and also my progressive workout routine. But uh, today's day 18 and it's doing good. So guys, if you have any questions or anything like that, leave a comment below. Uh, I would love to have a conversation with you guys. If you found value in this video, hit the like button. And uh, you know, if you want to continue following me on my journey, just hit the subscribe button. That would be awesome because I definitely want you to be a part of this process as well. Uh, please, guys, if any of you out there are going through the same thing, I'd love to you know talk with you, maybe do an interview, and see if we can uh, you know work together because I know that this journey is is a struggle for me but I would love to be able to help each other out. So be informed, uh, be informed, <laughs> stay motivated. I can talk today. Be informed, stay motivated, and live big. Whew.